Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with a 2002 Ferrari Enzo Ferrari. Now I've chosen to do this car because its engine has powered many a car on this series or on extreme power no handling. So it only seems fitting with this uh, game nearing its end in terms of me uh, playing it uh, to uh, try it out. So uh, yeah, I don't think we've got too many more of this series to go. I think we've only got like one more episode and then uh, yeah. That's it before Forza Horizon 3. But this series will continue on in that game, don't worry. So, And we've got plenty of cars to try out in that. But yeah, this car, 1,182 uh, horsepower, 837 pounds-feet of torque from its 6.4 litre twin-turbocharged V12 engine. And the car weighs 2,860 pounds. So yeah, same amount of power, and same engine size, same... Uh, asp uh, induction as you, uh, usual with all the other cars that have had this engine but it's also really rather light a lot of other cars have either been really light lighter than this car or heavier than this car but this is a uh, pretty much bang in the middle and as a result it can do 0 to 16 2.939 seconds and 0 to 104.862 seconds which is pretty good for a rear wheel drive vehicle a lot of the cars that are below 3 seconds are um, all wheel drive on this series yeah, this uh, goes against that trend. Anyway, let's uh, see what it can do. Now, unfortunately, it can't upgrade the suspension on this car. And even though at the time it was at the pinnacle of technology, and it's not hardly Stone Age right now, but the suspension's got a lot to deal with. It's got more than 400 horsepower, more than it had originally. So, yeah. Actually, I think it's got about 500 horsepower more. So, uh, yeah, it's got nearly as much power as it had originally put on top again, which, again, like I said, it's going to be asking a lot of the suspension, but it hopefully shouldn't be too much of an issue when we get up to speed, and since it does have all the handling upgrades that you can put on the car that are on it, then it should be able to handle the whatever speed it can get up to. Obviously we'll be looking to uh, match other cars that have had this engine. I think is the entire top five of this series, which includes two Ferraris itself, the uh, Ferrari F40 and the uh, Ferrari 250LM, both of which are obviously older than this car. So hopefully this should be able to at least match or even beat them. Right, we're already past its original top speed. That's 230, 240. Pass the 177 from the last episode. 255. 260. Come on. Not much more to go. 265. Yep. Oh dear. Yeah, didn't really handle that corner very well. But yeah, there we go. 265. I'm not going to get any extra here. Oh, nearly crashed into the wall there. But yeah, 265 mile an hour. That means it equals the Pagani Huayra and beats the Porsche Carrera GT, which this car was uh, rivaled against at the time. But it's 3 mile an hour off both the Ferrari F40 and Ferrari 250 LM, which were both at 268 mile an hour and well off the uh, two leaders, the uh, Jaguar D-Type at 271 and the Aston Martin DBR1 at 273 mile an hour. We have still yet to beat that Aston which is looking likely like it's going to be the uh, top car of this series by the time we finish it. But I will in the final episode of next week uh, see if I can find a car that can beat that so I'm going to troll for the whole car list and try and find a car that can at least either match that Aston or even beat it which is a tall order because yeah 273 mile an hour is hardly walking pace 8 mile an hour quicker than this car and you saw how quickly this car was going but yeah still a solid car and uh, yeah the engine in this car has proven worthwhile in many a car I'm pretty sure it, yeah I put it in the F40 I'm pretty sure I put it in the other cars as well in the, t in the top 3 so yeah solid car and a uh, great engine anyway Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.